right. That is it for all the home run courses and all of the challenges. Now, something should proc. You there. You got one hell of a swing, you know that? Mm -hmm. Thanks, and you are... And Yoshida, I'm the manager of this here batting center. Pleased to meet you. Or me and Yoshida himself. Mm -hmm. Bet a guy like you could use a real batting challenge, the likes of which no one's ever seen, am I right? Oh boy. I did clear all the previous ones like it was nobody's business. Indeed. Then, if you truly are the chosen one, perhaps. No, forgive me. I've said too much already. Just say it. So be it. You see? In my darkest, loneliest hour, I devised a forbidden course for fiends with otherworldly talents such as yourself. Problem is, I made it so difficult that no one could even get a single hit, so I sealed it off from the rest of the world. What the hell? You sealed it off? Oh. Yes. It was once known as the Devil's Chorus. Not even the King of Hell himself could complete it. First Titans and Giants, now Devils. You sure picked some oddball names, but I'm actually kind of intrigued. Excellence! Then come see me when, when you want to give the Devil's Course a shot. The price won't change any. Oh boy. Yeah. I'll do that. This is where things go to hell in a handbag. Let's begin one hell of a grind. I'm going to hate this. I've heard it's like absurdly difficult. This is the last obstacle in this game I need to overcome. I've gotten through one that would have been impossible. This is one I still plan to try. Think you're tough enough to tackle the Devil's Course? Then hand over 300 yen and pick the version you want. We got the Home Run and the Chaotic. Oh my dear god, please tell me it's not too much. Let's see it. <laughs> we gotta do the Challenge and the Regular, which is just Home Run. Oh, it's just one and done? Yes. Oh boy, how difficult is this gonna be? Oh, it went into the middle? Give me that. Why did I fuck that? Give me that. Uh, those hard sliders are so hard to predict. That's not too bad, actually. Let's try it again. Just tedious. Having to remember yes. everything. I can remember the first five and then two that I need. Again. Give me that. So you made it through home run hell, huh? Why haven't you gone pro? Now there's only one more left. I'm sure it's a whole different ballgame when you play against actual people. I'm sure you'd go pretty far either way. Swing by again soon. Now! It's time for one more. How many points will it take for me to get this, huh? I'm, uh, worried about this. Okay, eight. Okay, hold on a second. Ah. Uh, give me that. Boom! We done. We out of here. We're done already. There's nothing else you could do to me that even matters. I don't care. We're done with the batting cages in this friendship. That's amazing. Secret art. This secret technique has been a lot. EX bat appropriation. Learn how to use it with the skill up. Interesting. You know, I thought this was going to be a lot more difficult than this. Because the way people talked about it when I looked it up online was a lot more unforgiving. 
but this wasn't that much more difficult. It's just tedious. It's always back and forth. The one way I treated batting cages is just you learn every single run. You just have to fail to win. That's really all it is. Just like how people should treat Dark Souls or any game that makes you rage. You lose, you lose, you lose, and you get back up and you beat that ass. That's how it works. Can't believe you conquered the chaotic challenge, so when are you joining the big leagues? We're done. 49 reputation, baby. I think I'd rather stay a detective. <laughs> well, you sure, you sure are pro material, but this is on. Hope to see you around. With that, we are done with the batty cages. I don't even have to look back over here ever, ever again. We only have one more thing to handle, and the rest is history. We got two side cases. We're going to be meeting up with Amani at some point. And we got the drone races. Ah, yes. A good time for you, Miss Amani. Hello. <laughs> I actually was expecting this soon. Got my son. Are you dating anyone right now? Whoa, just shooting that out of nowhere. Why do you ask? Well, since we see each other quite often, I'd feel bad for your girlfriend if you had one. Imagine if I say this and I fuck that for the, for the content. I'm single. Is that so? Well, that's certainly a relief. Why did I just lie? <laughs> These lines like to come up out of the spite, but I'm not gonna sit here and deny the content that's in front of us. This is for the finale of whatever the case of this game is, and that's all there is to it. Ah, yes. Good timing with the guy there about to chase my ass. <laughs> Gamma son, had the cow calamity appeared since we last spoke? Nope, nothing as usual. In that case, we should meet once more. This time, I will surely lure out the calamity. Alright. I feel like we're getting close to the end of her, like, girlfriend event thing. So, it's either gonna be this one or the one after that. I'm expecting it, maybe. So, with this meetup that's coming up next, I'd like to start on one of the last two side cases we can actually proc out world of Kamarchi. The theater square word for you, you know, the usual bowling spot. Yes, I'll be waiting. Alright. Mr. Ohata, I'm talking to you first, cause we gotta end this bullshit about your son, alright? You got me son, I apologize for the constant stream request. This is gonna be the last, I hope you know that. Yeah. No worries, it keeps me busy. Yumakun is hiding again. Yes, I have a contract to settle with a client of owners. Ohata san, like I said before, Yumakun is doing this in hopes that you'll be the one who finds him. I know that, but it's not like I could just put my job on hold to do that. The treacherous hide and seek. Oh no, what is this? I can't pretend to know all of your circumstances by still think you need to set aside some time for your son. I will, I will, as soon as I get this contract locked. If you'll just do this, I'll give you 120000 That's worth your time, Aye. right? Fine, but I'm only taking this case on one condition. After this job's done, you make some time for Yumakun. I will, and thank you. I'll send you the photo Yumu sent me as well. Keep an eye out for him. Hmm. Can't help but wonder if he's going to keep his promise. Where is it at? The fuck? Which one is that? Wait, this is such a weird screenshot. Where the fuck is he at? What? It looks like he's behind or in front of Wild Jackson's, but it looks like the viewing is from a window. That could be anywhere, but I guess it narrows it down because there's not that many Wild Jacksons out there. I just gotta make a few guesses. 
looks like an interior this time. At least he's not somewhere high up. He's inside of some place in where he can see Wild Jackson from. There's a Wild Jackson nearby. At least that's helpful. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I found it. Judging from the funnel of Yumakun's scent, he must be in one of these buildings. Uh, mm. what company is this? Hmm. Oh crap. It's the Yakuza front, isn't it? Uh. Don't tell me this is what he meant by going somewhere dangerous. Here I thought it was actually going to be the safest one yet, but this is like absolutely stupid. I don't have much of a choice. If I explain the situation, maybe they'll listen to reason. You got me. We've came too far for us to hear those words be mentioned about Yakuza. I They're don't... not going to listen to reason. Um, excuse huh? me. What the hell are you doing? What? Is this some kind of raid? A raid? Uh, no, sir. Actually, I'm looking for a child. I'm pretty sure he's hiding in your building. A kid? No kids around here. Usually I'd agree with you, but this kid's really good at hiding. You son of a bitch, you a cop? <laughs> you think I'm gonna let you raid us on some flimsy boats like that? Oh, it's just a game of hide and seek, sir, please. No, there is no please, Yagami. Come on, you already know what's about to happen. Asshole, go play your baby game somewhere else. This place is off limits. If you want it in so bad, you have to go through me. <laughs> well, anyways, clean that up. Yimukun sure chose a rough spot this time. Yimukun, are you in here? I give up so you can come out now. Yeah. I'm here, mister. You were inside the cabinet? You are literally insane! How did you- You had to have came in here when no one was in here. But either way, if your father tried to find you, there's no way he would have found you this time. But, but, there's a but here. A big but. Um, a bubble butt. Um, <laughs> you got some nerve thinking that your father gonna find you. If he were to find you in this situation, you would leave your father possibly fucked over in this situation. Like, this is the worst dangerous type of situation possible. Himakun, this place is where a lot of scary guys hang out. Don't ever come back here, okay? Mm. Okay. Dad isn't coming again. Sorry, buddy. He's busy again. Okay. Emma. Oh. Really? Huh? Dad? Your, your father cheated, by the way. Oh, Hata son. I thought you had work to do. It hit me when I really looked at the picture Yumu sent me. Isn't this office for, well, you know, right? Once I realized it, I put work aside and came straight down. Is that so? Emma, uh, you're not hurt, are you? You came to find me even though you knew it was dangerous then? Oh. oh, of course, son. I would never want you to get hurt. Not that I had planned on anything as I dashed out of the office. That's okay, then. Hey, are you hungry, Yemu? Why don't we grab something to eat? Anything you want? I want omelette rice. <laughs> Alright, let's hit the town. I'll get you some real good omelette rice. <laughs> Got me, son? Thank you so much. Here's your pay for today. This is absolutely stupid. Oh, straight to my pockets. I'll take it. Don't worry. I know I screwed up. I'm gonna make it right. Cool. Yemu means more than me than anything. I'll show him that. Yeah, I think that's all he wants. Well, ready, Ayuma? Yeah. I'm happy for you, buddy. And that's it for that. Cool. Now, there's only one more side case and one more friendship left. And we're going to do a Yam uh, Amane san soon as well. But before we do Amane san, there was something we unlocked here.
turn the tables on the attacker by taking the trusty weapon. Oh, I like them apples. Give me that. We are going to hang out with Amane san until we finish off her girlfriend event. And then we are going to be hitting that side case finale pretty soon. Alright, Miss Amane san. I hope we get more understanding about her little situation with that Yakuza paycheck she's dealing with. Because I am a little worried. Oh, she back to the usual fit. But, yeah, it's nice to see you again. Uh, I hope you're well. It's fine. We'll get going, huh? What? Oh. She's responding to the calamity of the cow again, right? What's going on with you, Amane san? The sign of the cow calamity has vanished. What? What did this mean? It has? Like, completely? It's like somebody took the cow calamity from him. What? Yes. Huh? Guess that means we're done watching out for cows. Nah, I feel like this is actually not good. Why does the calamity be all over Kamorito? Imagine. <sighs> This is a tr this is troubling indeed. What's wrong now? Oh, that was merely a slip of the tongue, really. Okay, so what are your plans now that the calamity is over and done with? Well, I'm certainly not ready to go home if that's what you're asking. <laughs> okay. How about we take a rest somewhere? We should. So my calamity is really gone. Hi. Yes, I see no trace of it whatsoever. She seems kind of down for some reason. I think I know why. Because this means they have no reason to hang out anymore, right? I think that's why. Talk about calamities. Talk about her patron. Uh, let's talk about the future first. There's no actual music in the background, so I guess I'll be taking my usual approach for this one. And you'll hear what if you hear, but what are you gonna do from here on out? I think it would be best to wait and observe how things develop. But is there really anything to observe at the moment? Well, that is true, however, I... She's acting kind of odd. What do you want to do? I want to keep seeing you. We should see how this plays out. Glad you understand. Talk about her patron. Thing going okay with that patron of yours? He seems rather pleased with me. I imagine you want to continue using my services. Tell her it's because she's charming. Tell her to be careful. I, I'm gonna just say that. So I have a Yakuza family though, I'm kinda worried. Oh, I don't think there's anything to be concerned about. Besides, they're depending on me right now. I see. Just be careful. Very well. Oh, I can just click the option. My son, if my clarity sign is gone, does that mean I'm in the clear? Uh, well, about that. You want to talk about it? I believe you shouldn't let your guard down just yet. Why is that? Because... Well, you never know when the calamity might return! The village is of <laughs> utmost importance. Okay. Again, I still think it's because she won't be able to see Yagami anymore. That, like, I still think that's why. What is she talking about? Let's probably dig deeper into this. Talk about calamities. Let's go. Mane san, would you mind clarifying something? I thought my clarity was gone for good. No, it was merely beyond my comprehension at the moment. You mean you can't tell? It is as I feared. Not did not only did your sign of the calamity vanish, but everyone else has too. The signs have all disappeared. Uh, what? 
what did this mean? Earlier, I took a look at the patriarch and the rest of the group, yet witnessed nothing out of the ordinary. But not long afterward, I received word that one of his subordinates was stabbed by an enemy. What could this possibly mean? Well, to say that the Clary signs went away would be slightly incorrect. It's that I no longer have the ability to see them. Aw, oh, that was what I was worried about. Okay. So as she was talking, I was wondering what she really meant as she feared. And I was like, are you telling me you can't prophesize anymore? Like, what does this mean then? Wait, you lost your powers? Not permanently. This has happened occasionally in the past. And it always seemed to occur when I'm faced with a major obstacle. Interesting. Hmm. Any idea of what that is? I'm afraid not. Work it going well and my personal life? I know what it is. It has to be Yagami. Come on. Major decision here. My personal life is also very fulfilling. So nothing's weighing on your mind. Obviously something's weighing on her mind if she loses her powers because of it. That's kind of weird. And Correct. Yet you still can't see the signs. I wonder what's causing this. Seems I cannot discern that either. Something about that is bothering me. But I'll still take a picture even though there's absolutely no reason to do it. Yeah. Well, Yagami-san, the time has come for me to depart. There is still much work to be done. Okay, but I thought you couldn't see the Calamity signs anymore. Can you still work like that? I suppose you have a point. Well, in any case, I'll walk you to your meeting spot. Must apologize, Yagami-san, for constantly making you worry. Oh, I'm glad we talked. You feeling any better? <laughs> nope, not today. On the contrary, I'm feeling rather dispirited. Damn, I guess I couldn't cheer her up. Alright, smoogie san let's get this show on the huh? road. Hey, you. Any problem? Uh -huh. That's what I'd like to know. Anyway, you ready, smoogie san I am. Farewell, Yagami-san. That guy right there. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Big monkey ears. <laughs> Why does he feel like we've seen him before somewhere in the game. That guy watching me? Yeah, he definitely was staring at us just now. Oh god, there's a freaking cane gang around here. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, did they just disappear? Okay. Well, I was gonna say there is something I need to test the waters of, but I guess I'll have to worry about that later on. Now, as we need to proc Amane-san again, there is absolutely nothing for me to do until she decides to want to date us again. So, what we have is the last side case that will be visibly on the map. And so, for the notice, because the only other thing left would be to go to Yagami Detective Agency and we start one there. And then, we got the final friendship, which is at the drone races, which my surprise it is very amusing that we are almost done with this game bro I can't wait but I think we're gonna be tackling the drone races today people I'm looking forward to that so you can message Amane and seem to into our last day day for today Amane sound let's hang out again hanging out you say interesting to me it was all business you didn't treat it like that before. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Talk to you later then. Hmm. Intimacy level 5. I am assuming we are almost done with her girlfriend event, so we'll see what happens soon. Aha. Uh -huh. Kinda figured we'd talk to you before I head up there. Alright, I'm um, on uh, huh? Yami san, sorry to worry you today. At least our date was enjoyable. Oh, she actually said that. Let's hang out again. Yes, let's. Are you feeling any better? 
I am, thanks to you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, okay? You have my thanks. Spending time with you like this is quite enjoyable. I hope we can do it more often, you got me son. Yeah, I agree. Let's see if this clearly decides to come back. With a little emoji there. Interesting. For sure. Might as well let you guys go. Because I guess we're gonna be doing this now. We're going to the drone races. It is time that we finally see what this is gonna be like. It is a little bit sad to say though that this experience is going to be a little lackluster because I don't think this is gonna have a little story build up. If it does, then that means there is a side case here, but I don't know. Let's see what I'm gonna need to see now. Gamma son, are you able to meet me right now? Really? Nothing in particular, I just wanted to see you. Ah, we are almost done with this, it seems like. Sure. Thank you. Where should we meet? I feel bad for imposing on you, so why don't I head over to your office? Okay. If she didn't say those words, I would have been like, we're gonna handle what we got here first, but... I'm actually gonna head to the office. Time to see how this ends. I didn't think it'd be ending so soon, but it feels like we're actually about to end this. Go in front of ends. Oh. Let's get started. Well, I guess I'll wait until this gets here. I don't mean to barge in on you, but... You're joking, right? You have some nerve coming to my office mm -hmm. like that. And you are? Hmm. <laughs> You'll have to excuse my abruptness, but I need to speak with you for a moment. Yeah, take your boys somewhere, unless they want to get hurt. Is this work related? Did you set up an appointment? No, I didn't feel that was necessary. I noticed you from outside, so I thought I'd come in for a quick chat. Wait, I think I know this guy. Yeah, the guy who stared at us with the giant monkey ears, yes. That is Amani Sun's paycheck, if I'm not mistaken. You must be that guy. You know, the Yakuza paycheck. You must be him, right? Wait, is this a bad time? Well, I do have some very important matters to attend to. And I'll make this quick and painless as possible. Oh, you funny, funny. Provided you take a moment to clean out your ears and listen. Fine. What do you want? First off, let me introduce myself. I'm Takeru Ushimata, also known as Obstinate Ox of Komorito. Ah, are you the Cal Calamity, buddy? You must be the Cal Calamity. Eh? You don't say. Unless I'm totally mistaken, an ox is pretty much a cow, right? I know. Um, this might sound irrelevant, but would you happen to have a cow tattoo on your back? <laughs> oh yeah, I do. It's a magnificent one, in fact. <laughs> oh, of course you wouldn't. Anyway, what do you want with me? You need to stop seeing a money son. <sighs> We're currently engaged in a minor scuffle, you see. Yet my men have suffered countless setbacks and injuries. Now my son's abilities have certainly helped us a great deal. <laughs> But since she hasn't been able to see anything lately, we've been experiencing quite a bit of trouble. I'm aware of that. Now, why do you want me to keep away from her? Didn't she tell you about how she can't give readings whenever she's deeply concerned? Yeah, she did. But she doesn't seem to know what the root of it is, though. Well, I would think it's fairly obvious. It's you, buddy. Mm hmm? Huh? That girl started falling for you, but she just doesn't realize it yet. That's what's got her thrown for a loop. No, that can't be it. I need her to get her powers back immediately, otherwise we might not have a future left to read. And while I understand she's having love issues, this is a matter of life and death, at least to us. So could you stop seeing her from now on? You're gonna bribe me with money? That's what your boy put on the table? I'll pay you, of course, two million yen. 
I have it all in cash. Wow, can I actually choose that? What? I wonder what would happen if I just took the money, bro. I could gladly use that if I needed it. I don't need that shit no more, alright? Realistically speaking, from the, the completionist standpoint that I'm going for in this sidekick's finale, I don't need that. Refuse it. I understand the condition, but unfortunately for you, I can't agree to those terms. Oh. Now, if that's all, I like. I'd like you to leave. Really? A gun? What? You know, I'm not sure if you caught the subtext, but this is an offer you can't refuse. Really? Considering how many lives are on the line, I won't be holding back. Now say goodbye to my son for good. You got me. Why did you let him hit you in the back? I would have like already thrown hands. Hmm. And then you will show up of all times. Hmm. What happened to you? Why are you all? Let's just say your patron has a problem with me. Nah. Thinks I'm making you lose your powers. Yeah, he's saying I'm a major obstacle that's blocking your third eye. And apparently this guy, Ushimata, he's nicknamed after a freaking cow. Ushi, which should have been very obvious after that. I am aware of that. And you didn't even mind telling me that he's the cow calamity shrouding me. He's definitely going to be an obstacle for me to deal with. Then, you mind if we talk for a bit? What a horrible way to meet her like this. Why is saying you knew about the patriarch's name this whole time, didn't you? I did, and I apologize. I did never cross your mind that he could be the cow calamity. Actually, I... I had been considering that, and I came to such a conclusion fairly early on. Then, why didn't you tell me, but you just didn't want to admit it? Hmm. You just didn't want to admit it? Am I wrong? Don't worry, I get it. This is your first regular after all. You couldn't risk losing such an important customer over some calamity that couldn't even be verified. That's not it. Am I wrong? Well, it is true that I wanted to take good care of my very first patient. However, if he truly is the cow calamity, then it means I was the one who brought this disaster into your life. That's why she didn't tell us. Uh, well, when you put it like that, that's why as long as you and I continue to meet, the calamity will never go away. That is fucking ridiculous. So, from the moment we decided to hang out, the calamity decided to appear. You know how stupid that sounds? It's just like how we were fated to meet multiple times for the actual side cases before we actually hang out like this, but if anything, it'll grow even worse. The closer we get, the more dangerous your situation will be. So that's why you kept saying the calamity was getting bigger. I didn't want to admit that. I just couldn't. Before I knew it, you'd become such a huge part of my life. I want to keep seeing you, truly, I do. But doing so will only bring you more misfortune. This, this is the craziest girlfriend event. I already knew it was going to be, but wow. We go from having such good times with other girls to having one where we had to make up for our mistakes. <laughs> Even though it was also her fault. And then we have one that's so depressing. This is like, wow. So i am in a situation in a relationship where i could end up getting killed just by being in love with a girl that thinking about that is actually stupid 
that is the source of my troubles, and thus the reason my power had dwindled down to nothing. I had no idea. I'm so sorry, Yagami-san. It turns out the real calamity was me. Amane-san. Please excuse me, I'll be heading home now. We should probably stop seeing each other for gun. You can't be serious. Am I really gonna let it end like this? How will this end? I had to see what this was, and thankfully I actually did. So there is gonna be one major obstacle remaining. I think we're almost done with Amane-san's girlfriend event. That was a lot to take in. I uh, don't know what's gonna happen. I could check the phone. Okay, we can. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hey, how have you been? Nothing. No response. I know she, she suggested that we stay away from each other, but I'll try to contacting her again later. My son, how's everything lately? Really? She still won't talk to me? So there's nothing I can do for now. I'll have to check it because there's no way she's just going to respond to me outright. But damn, this girlfriend event is ridiculous. Here we go again. <laughs>